Hello everybody, my name is Omar Esteves, I am an architect and I am from Tuxpan, Veracruz, Mexico. In this short tutorial, I am intending to show you a very general but simple and quick way of creating a photorealistic image using V-Ray for SketchUp. If you search the web, you will find that there is a lot of information regarding different aspects of renders, but I haven't found one tutorial that leads us through the whole process of creating a nice image. So even though there are so many tutorials, it is still hard for new users to get started. Why am I doing this? Well, from time to time, a new V-Ray user gets into the SBS forum asking for advices, and lots of times they come with something like, uh, please help me, or how can I improve my renders, or how do I take my renders to the next level. I mean, new users come with very general questions, and sometimes when their renders are not good enough, uh, or when they need just too much work, people don't answer. I believe that renderers and especially new users need to have order in their work. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna divide the render process in four stages. I'm gonna give you a short explanation about each one. And once you had seen this, and I, w I want you to start studying, uh, and I'm talking to a new guys, you're gonna have homework. And this is going to be that you have to look for Fernando's tutorials, and you have to read the manual you have to try to follow the order that I'm gonna give you and do not move to the next stage until you know enough of the first one so hopefully if you follow this uh, you will not only have a general idea of what you have to do to create a nice image but you will also have like a studying guide and you will be capable of asking more specific questions at the forum okay the four stages that will divide the process in are modeling, uh, illumination, material editing, and post-production. Uh, we're going to be making a lot of renders, and the trick here is that we have to finish each stage so we can move to the next. For example, uh, we're not going to start editing materials until we have not finished with our illumination. So uh, the first stage is modeling. Uh, I already have a, a finished model, uh, and there's uh, some tips that I would like to, to give you. First of all, uh, you need order in your work. Uh, renders are about detail, and if you want to achieve detail, then you probably will not be creating uh, large files. So one way we have uh, to control uh, large files is uh, by layers. In this case, I created some layers, and I'm going to turn them off just to show you uh, the scene. Uh, before we start, uh, there's also another thing that in SketchUp actually helps a lot and I've seen that people does not uh, do, which is go to view, edge style and disable this checkbox. So now uh, I can move uh, much easier. Uh, by disabling uh, that checkbox, the navigation uh, becomes uh, faster. It's like the, uh, like the model uh, is like smaller. So. Uh, I'm gonna go to my scene because I want you to see uh, what I've made. Uh, I made this inspired uh, by a render of one of my friends, and I made this uh, to especially for this tutorial. So this is the model, and the final render is this one. Uh, it took me like half an hour. It's pretty basic. There's nothing too fancy. Uh, not. Uh, very uh, complicated materials basically just reflections and I used an HDRI for illumination but I want to uh, show you a couple of things so we're gonna start from the modeling and we're gonna go until we save our final image from Photoshop because we're gonna see some post-production uh, something that I was uh, almost forgetting uh, these are some of the values that I think that can uh, represent a nice render. So, uh, as you can see, if you don't make any post-production at all, it doesn't matter how good uh, your illumination was or how perfect your model was, you're going to have like an 80% render. So, that's an average render. And the trick here is that we're trying to take the render to the next uh, level. So, let's get started. Uh, 